This episode of Nerd is a New Sexy Entertainment, the podcast, is brought to you by Magic Mind. What is up, all you sexy nerds? Grizzly McBee here, and I want to thank you for listening to and watching Nerd is a New Sexy Entertainment, the podcast. This is episode number 171. And I am joined today by the one, the only, the man, the myth, the legend, the not so Batman Gotham Batman, Wildfire One. Not so Batman Gotham Batman. I'm not even sure what that means, but you know what? I'll I mean, take it. it. Sounded good. You just saw my hat. That's what you, yeah, you saw the hat. And you're like Batman. <laughs> I'm gonna put that in there. I'm Batman. I'm Batman. Well, I'm not. I'm not. I, I wouldn't say I'm an Adam West Batman. I'm definitely like a Michael Keaton Batman. I love Adam West, though, mind you. You're, you're, you're definitely a uh, uh, Ben Affleck. Kind of. Oh, God! The bat flack. <laughs> Don't you dare put that on me. Uh, I mean, he, honestly, he wasn't bad. Uh, really he, was, he wasn't a really bad Batman. It's just I can't... Just certain characters I can't see Ben Affleck playing, and Batman is one of them. This podcast, we're going to talk about life events. What's new, what's going on. Some of us has more stuff going on than others. And that, it's pretty much like a Nerd Chronicles, but the extended version. <laughs> extended Nerd Chronicles. The, the, this is the director's cut. <laughs> and, and for those of you who don't know who what nerd, our Nerd Chronicles are, Nerd Chronicles is on our YouTube page. Uh, we It's basically a, veal, a vlog of us talking about our lives and what's going on. And it's... it's uh, our way of being a little more transparent for the viewer. We, we try to do it monthly, and each month we have a different um, crew member uh, take a turn and, you know, just kind of explain what's going on with them in life. That way we can kind of be more open yeah. with you guys on who we actually are instead of just, you know, our, our gamer tags on, on, on the podcast. What's behind, what's behind Wildfire 1? What's behind... Right. Grizzly McBee, what's behind uh, Monster 74 and so forth. We, you know, what we've been playing, what we've been doing. Some of us are a little more in-depth in what we do and say and talk about. Yeah. And some of us are just kind of like, I've been playing games. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> and that's okay. <laughs> you know, I've been, I've been doing this and that and your thing. And, and, and that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. Uh, but it's, it's just, it's a fun little thing to talk about. And I, I honestly, since we mentioned Nerd Chronicles, Nerd Chronicles kind of, I, I it feel wrong if I didn't say whose idea it was to begin with. And it was uh, True's idea years ago. So, you know, years ago. years ago. And then we stopped doing it after True went to do his own thing. And then, well, we just kind of started doing it again. It's almost uh, de-stressing as well. You yeah. get on here, it's a therapeutic kind of thing. Kind of get stuff off your chest and, and sharing a bit. Yeah. So, good for the soul. what's new with you, Grizzly McBee? Well, um, let's see, the, the last podcast, uh, no, the second before last podcast, um, we were saying that we were going to take a bit of a, uh, like a two-week hiatus, which we did, um, because, uh, uh, sorry, lady, but I'm off the market. He's a married man now. I went and got hitched. <laughs> I was there. I saw it. <laughs> got witnesses and it wasn't with me and it wasn't with me like i know you were like so like we were planning on in vegas god damn and i knew i should have fucking married you there made an honest man out of you he, he's he's a married man now and he's got a lovely wife i've met her she's amazing she's a sweet gal damn good cook oh yeah he's like and, the, uh, that's why i married her <laughs> and and uh wild can attest to this um she can out drink down near any of my friends. <laughs> yeah, she, she, yeah, she's, she's got, she got the, she got the drinking thing down. So yeah, she can drink. She can, she can. Uh, I don't know about out drinking, but she can drink. I saw it at the, at the, at the, uh, the, the reception. reception. Yeah, yeah, more or less. Uh, she was throwing them back. She was by the time we, me and Monster were like, oh, we're going home. We're tired. Uh, she was already maybe two sheets to the wind. Yeah. She's feeling good. And you were feeling good, too. Yeah, it, it was a good day. It was a good day. You got a little nervous. We, understandably. Not not because of the wedding, but because people were going coming in late. and yeah. uh, Which is which is understandable. Dread 
Dredge is is or if it's not if Dredge is not late, it's not Dredge. Yep. It's not it's not Dredano. And hearts to that guy. Oh, only thing I gotta say is fuck you for being the fucking best man. It should have been me. But you did a damn good job, dude. You did a damn good job. So the to the to the to the toast, you know, to be to showing up. Yeah. <laughs> and then we, he and I talked about um, a possible bachelor party we're gonna do in the future for Grizz that we didn't get to do all the official stuff this time around because uh, and because they got a plan to do it again in the future. And there's plans there. I kind of want to I kind of want to tell the plans. You know the plans. I kind of yeah. want to tell the plans. Is it okay? Yeah. I'm good. All right. Well, if everything goes well, we're going to do a ghost hunt. Probably Grizz, myself, Dread, uh, Monster, if he doesn't Scooby-Doo puss out of it. And uh, uh, I don't know, whoever else, whoever else, whoever else the, the groom wants to be there. And I've slowly been starting to buy ghost hunting equipment the last few years because we we've been wanting to do a ghost hunt. Um, yeah. And we wanted to do we've got, we've got, we've got a few locations uh, in mind. Yeah. One of them being um, Historical State Park. Oh, yeah. Which um, is about right in between uh, Wild and myself and Travel Bit. Yeah. Um, I've got to go west. He's got to go south. So. And it works out that way. And, and we've been wanting to do, we've been kind of wanting to do a ghost hunt for the channel, too. For for years, um, I know that uh, Ghostly Killer's been wanting to do something like that. And even before the ch this channel existed, we've talked about when we used to work yeah. at the the haunted the haunted mall that we've talked about in a po past podcast. Uh, Dread, uh, Ghostly Killer, Grizzly, and myself have all talked about going to these places and doing ghost hunts just for the shit, of, just for the hell of it. Not not even really recording it or doing it for any other reason other just to do it. Yeah. So we've been wanting to do this, um, and I'm finally getting the time and the cash to be able to kind of slowly put together a ghost hunting kit for myself. Same. And yeah. we're it's 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 gonna be cool. It's gonna be fun. So that's that's something we can look forward to in the future. Again, it's not a promise because we don't know how these things work out. Sometimes stuff gets in the way. Yeah. But it's something that we, it's content that we want to bring to you guys, and we might even do something like that off TikTok. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. What else is going on? So at, at work, uh, been a little short on supervisor, and hopefully by the time I go back to work uh, Monday night, that will have changed. Wait, are, are you? Yeah, because you said something happened with the supervisor. I won't say what, but yeah. something happened, and then they put you on graves. So are, are they yeah. removing you from graves in the future? Uh, that is what they are saying they're wanting to do. I would love to go back to swing shift, but. Unfortunately, the way things are now with you know the family life, greater just better scheduling wise for me, you know, because I I did end up marrying a beautiful woman who has an eleven year old daughter, who amazing little girl too, freaking really really fun to talk to, world. really She's fun world. really fun to talk to. She was not shy when me and Monster got there. It was great. Oh no, so. So, the day of the wedding, my wife and my daughter went to my mom's where we did the wedding um, early in the morning while we were still, you know, somewhat trying to sleep. Um, and, you know, not being able to, the bride and groom not supposed to be seeing each other the day of the wedding. Which was heavily enforced, by the way. I must say, yeah. almost to the point where it got in the way. Yeah, we stayed in the same house, but I slept in the living room. Well, you slept with us initially. The sleeping, well, the sleeping yeah. arrangements changed throughout the night. Yeah, I went to the living room to be more comfortable. Monster went to his car. You had the bed to yourself. I, I slept. You know, when I fell asleep because we slept what thirty minutes. I when I slept, that was like the. Most comfortable thirty minutes I've slept in a long time. Well, and and that was my old bed that yeah. I had at the old house that you fucking loved every time you came over. Yeah, passed right the fuck out on that thing, and then not ha having monster next to me snoring was nice. When he went to the when he went when he went to the cat the not the couch the car, I don't know how the fuck he slept. 
When I went out there to wake him up, he was like all in the fetal position and shit. Monster's a big dude. Let me tell you guys this. Yeah. Monster is a big dude. He got a little car. Not as little as mine, mind you. But his back seat, he was he was in the fetal position all like fucked up and I was like, wakey wakey, eggs and bakey, motherfucker. And he got up and he's like, he looked like he like I don't know, you ever see those horror movies when a monster uncrunches itself? That's what it sounded like. You know, like fuck, dude. How how did you sleep back there? So I I slept on the couch in the living room. She got the the bed all to herself well, with my daughter. Um, when I heard them getting up, I just kind of curled into the into the couch to where you know I couldn't see them leave. Well, by the time we got over to my mom's, you know, to bring more supplies and you know drop some stuff off. My wife was inside doing her hair and makeup and everything, and my daughter was running around with all of my my friends that were there, mm -hmm. directing them on where and how to decorate the yard. Which was hilarious because we, you, you, me, and Monster were doing the doing the runs. We were going out and getting mm -hmm. what we needed, getting and everyone nice. and they were they did an immaculate job on that. By the way, they, mm -hmm. the 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 yard looked good with the exception of the wind and stuff blowing off from time yeah. to time, but. It looked good, you know. It was at your mom's front yard and backyard, mm -hmm. and I've never been to your mom's house until that day. And that was yeah. it was. And by the way, let me just say, uh, you're always talking about how my parents are sweet. Your mom is a sweet lady. Yeah, she she, she really is. And she lost a lot of weight. I that's she the did. that was the first uh, thing that came to my mind. I say it was like twelve years ago, maybe. Mm -hmm. That she finally got that um that lap band, the gastric. And she's, she said she weighs less now than she did when she graduated high school. I remember seeing her. She came to visit, I think, when we worked at the mall. Mm hmm And she was a bigger lady. It wasn't nothing wrong with that, but she was a bigger lady. Not, not, not unhealthy big, but you just big enough to where it can be unhealthy. Yeah. And, uh, I, she was just, she was so sweet then too. And, and, uh. Yeah, it's good to see she's she's living a healthier lifestyle and, and going on yeah. from there. And then, of course, I, I'm, I'm I'm assuming she was stressed for your wedding too. Oh well, yeah, you know it's her 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 baby boy, her oldest and oldest child and only son, finally getting married. One of the funniest things is before we talk to you to tell you, hey man, we're gonna we're gonna go home. We're tired. We're we're tired. You know, run off of whatever sleep and. Uh, if we talked to your mom for a little bit and she was like, you're the guys from the podcast, aren't you? I'm like, yep. <laughs> yep. That's us. It's just like, it's so cool that you guys do that. And I'm like, yeah, you know, I mean, how do you, how do you, how do you answer that? Right. You just, I'm like, yeah, she's listened to a few of them. Yeah. Well, I mean, I wouldn't lie. I think my parents have, 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 uh, partaken in a few of the podcasts. My dad was in a few of them, was in yeah. a few of them. So, yeah. You know the ones that the ones that I knew he liked Star Trek and and mm -hmm. uh, stuff and like the Twilight Zone and stuff stuff that he influenced yeah. me when I was a kid with. Yeah. So. yeah. But what else? What else is going on, Grizz? Well, let's see. Uh, I'm a uh, a cheer dad now, which means I will be a. Oh my God. Yeah. So, oh, we 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 might as well get that minivan and all that other shit, man. Get you ready for it. Well, my my daughter's been doing cheer for for a few years, mm -hmm. and. Now she made it to the um, senior team. I had to go to one of the team games or the, the team meeting for the parents, you know, for the start of the new season. And I was asked by the head coach of the senior cheer team to be a cheer dad because the head coach works in the same place I do, knows that I'm first aid CPR certified and that all good things. Yeah. So I told her, you know, I'm not going to be able to make it to the practices, but I'll be able to make it to all the games because they're on Saturday. Yeah. And the way my schedule is set up now is I have Sunday, Monday off, but it's technically Saturday, Sunday. Because, because of Graves. At 8 a.m. on Saturday, and I'll have to be back till Monday night. Those of you who've worked the atrocity that is Graveyard Shift and understand uh, that what two days off feels like one and uh but you know as a cheer dad and a new dad new dad more or less you know you need focus yeah 
And you know what helps you focus on that? Oh, please, do tell. What helps you focus is Magic Mind. Ah, oh, Magic Mind. Magic Mind is, and Wild and I can, can both attest to this. Oh, yeah. It no. is the ultimate mental performance shot. It's not something to replace coffee, though. You can still yeah. take coffee with it. It's You can still drink coffee with it. It's, it's not meant to replace anything. Yeah. I mean, heck, uh, I think monsters even put it in coffee. Yes. I think I think that's something that the instructions say, too. You can add it with coffee or you can yeah, add it with you juice. Can add it with coffee, yeah. Um, stuff like that. And it, But it's – I'd been taking it I, – I just started taking it again. Uh, the first time we took it, I had a lot of really good experiences with it. I tend to need caffeine. I know, I know Grizzly does, too, with the jobs we do. I more or less survive off of caffeine daily. Uh, well, thanks to that, certain things don't affect me anymore, and so they, I started trying the Magic Mind. Honestly, man, it works. It does. I feel more focused. I never thought that something like that would affect me to the point where I could articulate my words better. After taking it, it, it was easier to think. It was easier to uh, do things that... It worked. That I would always go, Ugh. like it, it would go quicker. Everything, it was just easier. Everything was easier for me. And one, one thing that you and I both immediately noticed mm -hmm. when you were taking is, especially for the two of us, that anxiety level was just gone. Yeah, there was, as opposed to other things, like you take this and there's no anxiety. There's no drop. You know, we don't necessarily back something unless we believe in it, and we 100% believe in Magic Mind. Uh, they made us they made us a believer the first time around. If you go to magicmind.com slash nerd is, you have a limited time offer to use our code to get up to 48% off your first subscription or 20% off a one-time purchase when you use our code N-E-R-D-I-S. 20 at checkout. And that's all caps N E R D I S 20 at magicmind.com slash nerd is. You know, it, it definitely makes things a little bit more magical. Okay, we'll go back to the podcast topic. Uh, Grizz, you're, you're a cheer dad. You got all that going on. You're really super busy. Like, you, honestly, I think you're more busy now than you've been, with you, especially yeah, I, with. I really am. I'm I'm more busy now than I think I've ever been. Even with, um, even with, you know, my past relationships that you've been there through. Yeah. Um, you know, because if if it's not work, then it's well, it's at home doing something with it, with the wife. And you've had and you've had past relationships. I won't say names because we're not going to start that hoo ha. But mm -hmm. you've been in past relationships with women that didn't like you gaming. Mm -hmm. and, and my wife now. If we've got nothing to do, or even at night, like if we're going to do the podcast at night, I mean, we're doing it during the day, uh, this, this today, mm -hmm. um, but you, even at night, she'll go, well, do you need me to stay in the living room? Is it going to bother you if I'm laying here in bed? You know, but yeah, no, she's always asking, is it okay if I just sit here and watch or, or is it one of those games where if we make noise, you're going to die? If so, then I'll just go watch TV in the living Yeah, that, that's important. Yeah. That, yeah. like, phasmophobia or, like, demonologist or something like that. Yeah. yeah. Or, or even, uh, what was that other one? Uh, uh, content warning? Yes. Yes, content warning. is A lot of a lot of games are going off of sound now. You know, and that's yeah. kind of, that's kind that's yeah. really cool. So, is that is that it as far as updates for you, Mr. Grizzly McBee? Oh, um. man. I know you're busy with the the club stuff you do too. We won't mention yeah. too much of that, but uh, yeah. I know you. He's a part of a group that does things for the community and other it's things a, like it's that. A historical society. Yeah. And, uh, all across the, the West Coast from that he's joined. West. He joined all the way back from when we worked at the haunted mall, and yeah. uh, and then ever since then, him and Dread have both been begging and join, begging and pleading for me to join. And I'm like, no, I'm too old to drink that much. I'll yeah, drink. Yeah. No, yeah, I will. My liver's already fucked. I, it's probably screaming at me from all the well, years of drinking. You'd be surprised how many people, how many, how many guys come in that are 15, 20, 30, 40 years sober. Oh, and they just don't drink? Yeah, you don't have to drink. But I want to. And then, and then you, and then, dumbass, you know, when we get together, 
it's a competition without being a competition. We're always drinking, and then I'm like, oh, he's drinking. I'll have another beer, or I'll have another whatever shot, fucking moonshine, whatever we're drinking. And yeah. it, especially with you, me, and Dread together, yeah. we're doing it without even knowing we're doing it. Next thing you know, we're three sheets to the wind, fucking doing live action D and D in the backyard. <laughs> Oh, we did do that, didn't we? <laughs> Just fucking taking branches out of the trees. <laughs> Think. <Look at> <laughs> oh. You shall not pass. That was last podcast. <laughs> so what's new with me? Um, I had a few deaths in the family. Here's a sad shit. Uh, had had you know uh. One of my aunts died, one of my dad's sisters. Uh, one of them, one of them I thought that was going to be around forever, you know. Uh, and it was last year or the year before that, I had, had my uncle, one of my uncles passed away, who was, you know, that that's old news, but it's still like a same situation. I thought he was going to be around forever. It felt like, you know, he'd be around heckling and giving us a hard time forever. And it's, uh, and plus it was that, that person, my uncle was my, one of my dad's best friends growing up and stuff and this aunt of course is my dad's sister and we just recently did i don't want to say about two weeks ago we did the kind of the celebration of life for her and uh so that that's another reason why i've been kind of busy and the podcasts have kind of been spread apart uh that's one of the reasons i don't do many nerd chronicles myself is unless there's something big going on in my life like i'm going to vegas or going to another state or going to do some family or I, I'm a homebody, dude. I'm usually yeah. home doing my thing. You can ask Grizzly when I worked with him. When he wanted to hang out with me, he knew where to, f- to find me. Yeah. You know, unless I wasn't home and I had to do pill b- pay bills and do adult shit. But mostly it's video games, which I guess I can talk about the new games I've been playing, which aren't really new. We watched Fallout. As you guys, we had a podcast on Fallout. And I had to start, I started playing all the Fallout games. I played and beat Fallout 3 recently. I tried to play Fallout it was Fallout New Vegas. I was just playing Fallout New Vegas, but it kept crashing on me. Fuck you, Bethesda. Uh, fix your shit, Rockstar. Fix your shit, Rockstar. <laughs> so I stopped playing Fallout New Vegas, sadly, because I love the game. And started f- playing the new Fallout 4 that, with the updated graphics on the PlayStation. And I've been just balls deep in that. Just like... I, I you can ask Grizz. There were him and Fandom and some of the other guys are like, let's play a game, and I'm like, no, Fallout Four. Well, I've been playing a lot with uh, Fandom, with Fandom, and with uh, Jade because every time I actually get a chance to play, I was like, no, I'm busy, I'm doing something. Yep. Oh, I'm doing something right. Sometimes I have a headache. Sometimes because I'm, it's migraine season. It's getting hotter here in California, especially in the areas we live. We're we're already hitting the 90s, and it's honestly I say it's getting hotter, but it's cooler than it was last year. Way cooler than it was last year. That just means that you know, summer's gonna suck. July, August, September is gonna be 115 like tires off the of cars. And... Yep, that's what's new with me. Just some video games I'm playing on the PS5 and. Uh, nothing, no new real games. I've been playing, um, I played and I finally played and beat, uh, Diablo 4, but that was a while ago. Oh, I still don't, I do, I'm still on chapter 2. Stories, like, leagues better than 3. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the base story, not the, mm-hmm. the additions. Uh, I bet you Diablo 5 comes out before GTA 6. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> what else am I playing? Um. Uh, Hogwarts Legacy, but I stopped because it it got a little boring, to be honest with you. Yeah. I mean, I was put in Slytherin, baby. That's really all I wanted. I wanted them to put me in Slytherin, and first try, Grizz. First try. Yeah, that's what you were saying. Yeah, so that was fucking awesome. So it's that. Um, But like I said, it got a little kind of monotonous. You know, it just only so many... I don't want to relive going to high school. Right. Go to potions class. Go to this class. Go to that class. Oh, while you're doing that, learn to fly a fucking broom. Oh, so I think that's uh, I think that's that's really all that's new with me, man. There's not really much. Like I said, uh, I'm a homebody. Go go to weddings when I have to go to weddings, and not be the best man. (laughs) 
we want to remind you again, guys, check out Magic Mind. The link below. Nerd is 20 is the code. Check it out. Don't believe us. Get your own opinion. So there's a number to call for us if you want to give us any suggestions on what you want us to talk about. Uh, things like gameplay, because we always do gameplay. We're always down for gameplay. Uh, if something you want us to watch, mm -hmm. feel free to give us a call at 559-997-6803. Again, that number is 559-997-6803. Leave us a message. Let's know. Yep. And it will go straight to voicemail. So leave a message. You'll hear my voice, my beautiful voice. And just uh, just leave us a message there. And if we don't have the game, we'll check it out. You know, if it's not the bank breaker, because, you know, we are nerd working nerds. There's only so much we can afford. Yep. But with that said, done, guys. We're going to end the podcast. We thank you for watching. We thank you for listening. So then we are going to tell you to stay nerdy. And stay sick. Always. Always. Thank you.